Oh, Gary Nassai Minasan. Today, we're gonna talk about Kamen Rider Gears episode 43. I personally really, really love this episode. And maybe I kind of like have a weakness to story that actually revolve about parental love. And maybe that is the reason why I love Kamen Revise so, so much because of the entire premise of the show. It's about family and about mother's love, father's love and all those stuff. So this episode is really, really special for me because I, for the longest time, I am one of the guy that has been talking about the ending of Neon Kurama is gonna be her parents accepting her for who she is and they are gonna have that happy ending. But... I, I am having a, a lot of fear right now that maybe Gyago, aka Kurama Kosei, the father of Neon Kurama, is gonna die in the next episode because we get to see Premium Barrel Bar and also that random rider is attacking him non-stop and I don't think Kosei can actually defeat the both of them without any help, okay? But with that being said, we let us talk about what actually happened in this episode because this episode started out with a big another day F moment and that is right after the war has been rebuilt like Kewa is so happy that he received a call from Sarah and out of nowhere Sarah died the parent died what the hell just happened it's like really really crazy it almost made me feel like KY is gonna go insane just keep on resetting the war over and over and over and over again just to save his family and he's gonna realize by the end of the day that maybe his family cannot survive at all like his family never got the chance to survive it almost felt like kind of like that fixed point in time that no matter what you do shit is still gonna go down it's kind of like flashpoint if you watch the flash movie you know what i'm talking about it's kind of like a kind of like the spider-man if you watch the spider-man movie you know what i'm talking about it's like the canon event you know like hey what's parents are meant to die and his sister is meant to die something like that that is kind of like the canon event of the entire series but then again let us believe in happy ending okay because like every single thing about this episode has been pointing toward like hey, there's not gonna be a, a a good ending there's not gonna be a happy ending to the end of this Kamen Rider Gate story because Jito is the game master that brings battle end the bad ending to the story itself and i really really believe that this is teasing us on how the story is gonna end the story instead of be having a bad ending we are actually gonna get a happy ending for all the rider itself we are gonna see happy ending for uh for ky we're gonna see happy ending for s we're gonna see happy ending for neon and most importantly we're gonna see happy ending for buffer as well but that is all a topic for another day because we are still not sure what is the future direction that buffer is gonna take how is he gonna like how is his story is going forward we are not sure because right now they are actually setting up buffer and kwa to be the guy that actually talks things out that the brother that is gonna help one another something like that buffer right now is the 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 knight in shining armor trying to save kwa from the dark side itself so i'm really really curious to see how buffa is gonna save k1 maybe buffa is gonna be like if maybe i need to be in the dark side to help you to save you from the dark side something like that like in order to to to, to help you i need to be the greater evil something like that but speaking of kwa oh my god i am really really sad for him because he i don't know if you guys noticed or not but he is being played left and right man like he is a puppet right now puppet for jito puppet for kekera puppet for barrel bar and it is so so sad to actually see that from a guy they just want to save his family he was being used over and over and over again and this is something that i felt like we need to talk about because if if you actually bring that into the real life right now because i i felt like it is really really 
uh, it, this is reality, okay? I just want to say something in, in the real world a little bit, like kind of like a life lesson if you can actually say it. But uh, one thing I realized is that when you allow your desire to run amok, to run crazy, and, and you actually forget your principle, you forget your value, you are going to be led by your desire. And when you are being led by your desire, like anyone can control you if they grab hold of your desire you're gonna be led like a like a cow on a leash to 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 walk the way that you do not want to walk and that is and and the ending of that path it's not gonna be a happy ending it's gonna be a bad ending so i i i I, why i want to talk about this is i just want to encourage all of you like if if there's something that you you really want in your life right now i i pray that you would not be led by your own desire like maybe some of you guys like you have been single for the longest time and you're like you are desperate because like everyone around you like hey they're getting married they're doing this and doing that maybe i'm speaking from experience i'm speaking from experience okay because and because me personally i also felt that i am like i'm almost 30 i'm turning i'm turning 30 by the end of the year so when, when I saw my peers all getting married, I get a little bit desperate, you know, like I, I want to get into a relationship, I want to find a partner, something like that. And and when you be when you got led by your by your desire, you're gonna make the wrong mistake. You're gonna be in love, be in a relationship with the wrong people, something like that. So what I wanna ask you right now is don't be led by your desire. Control your desire. Instead of having a desire, have a vision of what you want. Have a vision for for how, what your marriage life should look like. Or like I'm, I'm just using marriage as an example, but it can apply to anything in all and any part of your life. Maybe it's like your future career or something like that. Have a vision rather than a desire, something like that. And I already made a video surrounding this topic about the difference between a desire and a vision, something like that. But why am I telling you all this? Because I want to help you, okay? Because I don't want you to be led by your desire and to end up doing things that you never actually wanted to do in the first place, something like that. But with that being said, Bafa actually went to find Daichi. Back to the story, okay? Back to the story. Bafa went to find Daichi and he is asking for the location for the tree of knowledge. Why is Bafa looking for the tree of knowledge? Maybe he has an idea that, hey, maybe I can help Kwa if I eat the fruits of Sarah. I get a little bit of Sarah's memory. I can use her word to, to persuade Kwa, something like that. Or maybe like Bafa is going to find a way wait okay if if there's a tree of knowledge maybe there's a way for 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 the jamato to become sarah to to, to replace the family of kwa using a jamato something like that I, I i'm not sure okay because we actually get to see toru we actually get to see toru functioning as a human quite well as a Jamato itself but at the end of the day it is still just a Jamato but then again I'm not sure what Buffa's plan here is other than talking to Kewa and kind of like just fighting it out something like that this is all really really insane but I'm here for it I'm here for the story next week we are gonna see Nago back in action that is our finally after so many episodes of not seeing Nago Henshin we are finally gonna see Nago Henshin once again and and so far, so far in Kamen Rider Gears, we actually get to see Nago shine. I think for... I think this is gonna be the fourth time next episode that she shine. The first time she shine is when she uses the boost boost hammer the second time is the first time she uses the beat form the third time is that she used the the beat form and also the the help from kyun that the the first time she learns that she's not actually the a real girl something like that and the next episode is gonna be her final time to show okay so that is gonna be really really amazing and i can't wait for it and it turns out next week is gonna be episode 44 and she's the fourth rider of the series and this is is also the fourth time that she's gonna become the highlight of the show itself so that is all hope you enjoy if you made it this far into the video i want you to comment the word peanut and butter the reason why i give you two words today is because last week i forgot to give you a word so i'm gonna make it up in this video so peanut and butter and plus it together it become 
peanut butter one of the favorite favorite thing that i love in this world so that is all hope you enjoy and we see you guys in the next one goodbye